Hello everyone. So today I'm going to discuss a case of a 39 year old female who had uh, who had a huge fibroid of almost 9 centimeters. Also the uterus was uh, almost 16 weeks of pregnancy. Also she was a case of previous two cesarean and her hemoglobin was 7 because of the severe heavy bleeding and also severe painful periods were there. A plan for laparoscopic total hysterectomy with bilateral salpingectomy was done. She was only 39 so both the ovaries were conserved. The purpose of the video is not to show the full video but to highlight few important points related to the surgery. Since it was a big uterus, the camera port was put almost 2 to 3 cm above the navel. The most important point is to put the left side ipsilateral ports, both the 5 mm ports, on the same side as we put for a routine uh, hysterectomy. Because once you have uh, done all the hysterectomy and you are at the vault, if you have put very high ports, it is very difficult for the endosuturing. With the routine side ports, uh, the uterus can be manipulated to both the sides and we can comfortably do the surgery. In this uh, uh, big bulky uterus, vaginal manipulators also have very limited role because the uterus itself is so big and bulky that manipulators can't do much of their use. A right side uh, one port was put for helping with the manipulation in which mostly a tooth uh, uh, forceps was used. The second uh, challenge in this was uh, the bladder dissection be because it was a previous two cesarean case in which the routine steps of lifting up the bladder and cutting the UV fold and gradually pushing the bladder down were done. This enhances the bladder as well as the ureter safety. Also for enhancing ureter safety we are always uh, cutting the posterior peritoneum which lateralizes both the ureters. The third challenge in the surgery was removing of this full specimen because not only there was a huge fibroid but also the uterus itself was pretty big. So after coagulating both the uterine arteries and not uh, doing the vault cutting that is not cutting the cardinal and uterosacral ligaments I utilized that thing to stabilize the uterus so I had done intra abdomen only myomectomy. So the fibroid was removed when the uterus was stable and there was no bleeding. And from the vagina itself, uh, though the uh, the vagina was quite narrow because uh, she had previous two cesareans only, there was no normal delivery. So gradual coring of the uterus was done, which helped to remove both the uterus, and uh, the fibroid was also removed uh, normally in this patient. Uh, the routine uh, post-operative uh, uh, care was taken of antibiotics and painkillers, and patient was mobilized soon. Since the patient was anemic, already one blood was given before the surgery and one unit was transfused during the surgery along with one unit of FFP also. The patient was mobilizing and was uh, very happy. This is an image of both the tubes, the big bulky uterus and the fibroid. Laparoscopy is always a teamwork. Thank you.